know that you're worried because I beat up that guy who was a, a customer and I almost punched that cop when he got busted, but I, I promise you I'll be more careful. I'll work harder on controlling my temper. First, just listen to but me. But not if you're going to say that spending time with you violates my parole. Look, I, 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 don't, I don't pay you anything. You want to accept money from me. But even if it was illegal, I don't care. You're worth the risk, Abby. Okay, are you done? I don't know. Well, can we still be friends? I... No. But I have to be honest with you about the reasons why. I am not a prostitute. I lied to you about that because I wanted it to make it easier for you to accept that I was breaking things off. Why, why, why would you want me to think you take money for sex? I just told you, I... I... What did you think? You think I'd blame you? Or think you were dirty or something? I don't know. What I thought. I mean, you confused me, Michael. You're this incredibly complex mix of this sweet, innocent boy and, I'm and a man. I'm not innocent. I'm not a boy. Look, you won't tell me how you've been hurt, but I... I see some of it in your eyes. I hear it in the things that you don't say. It kills me, Michael. It won't be the reason that you get hurt again. That's why I can't keep seeing you. My life is not safe for it's you. It's not your job to keep me safe. Michael, I'm not going to put you in a position where you get in a fight again or, or, or violate your parole. I just told you. I told you. I, I'm not going to go to Vaughn's again. We, we can be at Kelly's. You can come over to, to Dante's place. And... Listen, Michael, please. Do you want to know why I liked you so much that first night? It's because you asked me my real name. You treated me with respect. I am asking you now to please respect me. I can't keep seeing you, okay? Wait, but I don't feel right Adam, about it. It doesn't have to be this way. Come, come on. Please, Michael. This is hard enough. Let me go. Goodbye, Michael. I can't. My God, do you have any idea what Kate would do to me if she found out that I got crimson involved in diamond smuggling? I mean, I could kiss my job goodbye. My whole career, I will be cast out of the fashion world and reduced to a life of bad knockoffs and last season's remnants. No, it is career suicide. I mean, can you hear me now? Would you like fries with that? Max, could you be exaggerating slightly? Here, cop, you tell me. I don't, I just want time for it. Luke can send it all he wants, and I want time for it. All right, all right, hold on, hold on. Let's consider the alternative. Prison. And orange makes my skin look pasty. However, if you do not get caught, if customs and the IRS are none the wiser, then Luke will owe you big time. And if we're found out? Then you deny having any knowledge of the contents of the shipment when you accepted the order, which is basically true. Then you sell your story, you write the book, you get a movie deal, Reese Witherspoon plays you in a story of glamour and intrigue. Now you're gonna start picking out what you're gonna wear at your own premiere. So you're not the only silver-tongued devil in your family? Excuse me. What's it gonna take for you to tell me what's really going on? This isn't about us, is it? What we have or don't have. There's something else going on that you haven't told me. You doing homework? No, I'm researching PTSD, so I can discuss my findings when I go for therapy. Honey, I have an idea. How about we stop doing research and we wait to hear what the doctor says? You know, I think what scared me most was the way it acted out. I mean, it wasn't like me. Breaking things and losing my temper. Whatever a doctor says to you, whether it's post-traumatic stress disorder or it may be just a very natural reaction to going through some kind of trauma, you just be honest about it, okay? And then in the meantime, you can tell me whatever you're feeling, and you know I'm going to listen, and I'm going to love and support you no matter what, right? I love you. I love you. Mwah. Okay. Sorry just to stop by, I really need to talk. Hey, what's up? I'm just on my way out of here, actually. I'm, I'm sorry for being being rude. No, 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 I have, I have tons of work to do. Don't worry about it. Bye. Mm. Mm. I'll see you later. See ya. Bye. Right. Sam's always so nice. I don't know why I can't talk in front of her. She's Abby's friend. That's ah, okay. <sighs> Abby's not a prostitute. 
You know, she lied to give me a reason why I couldn't see her. She thought I would hate her for taking money for sex, but I didn't, even when I thought it was true. Nothing can change the way I feel about Abby. Um, I'm glad she was honest. Yeah, I still can't see her, though. I don't know, she thinks I can do a fight or violate my parole or something, but I told her I'll be careful. That she's worth the risk, but she... It's like she's trying to protect me from myself. Yeah, you know, when, when people care about you, they, they want to look out for you even when you wish they wouldn't. Yeah. And Mom does that. And Dad, sometimes you too. But with Abby, it's different. She won't see me because of the things that happened to me in prison. What, what things? Carter? Know what he did to me. Look, I don't want to walk around with a sick feeling in my stomach waiting for the next lie that you tell to be exposed. Brenda begged me not to tell anyone what happened. It wasn't my secret to tell. What That's about why the fact that you already knew her and you swore to me that you didn't? It seems like the truth only comes out when you get caught. And, and you told me from day one you have no faith in relationships. That you've never known one that lasted. And just because your parents' relationship didn't last does not mean that our love is doomed to fail. No, I did not trust my instincts. I'm sick of second-guessing you, and I'm not going to second-guess myself. Okay, great. Well, I love you. Oh. And I'm not going to stop trying to convince you to, to love me back. It's not that complicated, okay? Because there is no love without honesty. And I don't trust you. You're overlooking an important element, Maxie. See, Luke Spencer is a master. Now, uh, odds are the diamonds will arrive safely, and when they do, you will lay your eyes on three of the rarest, most valuable diamonds in the world. Love so did a line twist. Do you seriously plan on avoiding me all night? Well, you can make it easy on both of us and just leave. You're not making any sense, Siobhan. You're all over the place. It's, it's like you're searching for reasons to push me away. Why don't you try trusting me? I'm afraid that someone's going to die. I don't want it to be you. Mr. Hoffman. You understand about that little scene at the hotel. One can't be too cautious, especially with someone as sharp as Mrs. Jax. I understand. Why don't you tell me what the setup is here? I want to hire you as an investigator for the case I'm trying. That will allow us to work together without suspicion. And who will I be investigating? Anyone who prevents me from avenging my son's death. I can be honest. Ask me any question you want. Do you love Brenda? I thought I did. But I was never real. I was a, I was a cop. I was a nobody. She was a supermodel. She was in danger. I, I got to save her. I got caught up in a situation. Nothing ever happened. I never, I never told her how I felt about her. I put her in a car. I watched her drive away. I moved on with my life. I got over it. And then I met you. Okay? And I realized what real love actually is. And then she came back and all those feelings came back too. It's a crush. <laughs> Completely unrealistic. I didn't tell you because I didn't want to hurt you. I don't want to believe you. You can believe me, Lulu. You're the reason I know the difference between infatuation <laughs> and what real love actually is. And I, and I, I love you. And it's forever. I'm sorry, I can't, I can't trust that. And I know that this has as much to do with my own issues as it does your lies. Look, I'm, I'm hurting a lot right now and I, I want you to leave. Please.
You did a great job, okay? You, you got proof that Dante and Brenda had a child. I understand that puts you in a very uncomfortable situation. So whatever happens on Sonny's wedding day, no one has to know that you were involved. But the evidence? I was able to get a certified copy of the paperwork so nothing falls on you. Luke, the end result will be the same. Whoever is responsible, pain and heartache is sure to occur. No, I'm sorry, but I... I have to tell someone. No, you don't. You do not want to do that. Because then Jason has to be the one to tell Sonny about Brenda and Dante, that they had a kid. Stone Cold will feel compelled to tell Mr. Yeah, Shane. you want to put Jason in that position, do you? Is it here would just ag agree to let sleeping babies lie, as it were, then no one would know. No one would have to know. Good fellowship and nuptial harmony could prevail. Oh, yeah, and then Sonny marries Brenda, the mother of his grandchild. Okay. And someday, somehow, he'll find out and he'll be destroyed, and I'm not going to let that happen. I will tell Sonny about Brenda and Dante. Abby won't see you because of what happened with Carter? No, Abby understands what it's like. Not exactly, and I think she was in a relationship with a guy who used to hit her. She knows what it's like to feel trapped. It really messes with your head. <sighs> Does she ever think I'm gonna be normal? I'm the wrong person to ask that question. I mean, you. Do you think I'll ever really act like I wasn't in prison? No, I think that you're always going to carry it with you. And I wish you didn't have to. You know, I kind of wish it was like when you were um, a little kid and I could just sit you down and Read you a story about Africa, and you'd wake up the next morning and barely remember. That's just not how it works. But you've shown so much courage, Michael. Not always. Not with Carter. It's like. It's like I'm still fighting him. The way I couldn't fight when I was in my cell. You did, fight. Carter. you did fight him. Every day that you get up and you live your life, you fight him. Every choice you make and you follow through, you fight him. Don't let him take your soul. 